are continuing with our electron configuration and this is part three. So what we're going to do is electron configuration keeps on going longer and longer as if it seems like never ending. We are going to talk about the abbreviated electron configuration. So let's look at this. This is our periodic table and as you know each of the row corresponds to each of the period number and then we have, if you remember, our last, the final column is the noble gas, noble gases. And remember again the struggle, every element struggles to be like a noble element. So what it does is it tries to either gain or lose the electrons and tries to become isoelectronic. It tries to mimic, look similar to noble gas. And let's see how can we write down the configuration using the noble gases. So for iron, Fe, and this is Fe, I'm showing you Fe is right here in row number fourth one, for fourth period. And then the configuration which we'll write will be row number one, two, three, and then we start with 4s2, and then we end up with 3d6. So look at that, that's our ending configuration. Now instead of writing all of that, what we can do is, we can take the noble gas element which is before that. So the one which is before that is over here and that is argon. So if it's argon, I simply put in square bracket argon and then only write down whatever I got after that in the fourth period. It's that simple. So does that make you feel better? So let's do the next one. This is antimony 51 and I have antimony right here. This is antimony. Okay. It is in the fifth period. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to noble gas which is before that and which is simply krypton. So I can put krypton there. And now you come to the sixth. I'm sorry it is in the fifth period. Okay. So it's in the fifth period. Let me go back and let me do this again because then we don't have a problem. So, okay. Okay, let's begin now with the. No, that's not good. Okay, what can I do? Okay, we are going to continue with writing. No, 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 no. I don't want to do it again. Okay. So we have some elements for which we need to write down abbreviated no that's not cut to cut 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 okay begin here so here's the deal we are going to write down abbreviated electron configuration for all these elements here is antimony which is 51 and that's where i got antimony which is in row number fifth so whatever comes before in row number fifth this element i'm going to begin with that and that is krypton so I put that krypton in square bracket like that and I begin with the row number fifth. Row number fifth I complete s electrons so that is phi s must be completely filled and then this is d, d must be completely filled in two. There are ten electrons, ten element and for d we go one level lower so it's 4d10 and then we come back again to the fifth period when we come to the P block. So it is phi P and we have antimony as 1, 2, 3, the third element there. Next one is palladium and palladium is right here. This is the element palladium. It is the row number fifth again but it's in D block. So we are going to begin same like antimony, the last noble gas which we find in row number fourth which is krypton. Then we come back to the fifth row S block, it's all done and then we come to 4D and look where is palladium. If you count that it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we end up getting 4D8 for palladium. And then next one comes as mercury. Mercury is in the 6th period. It's right over here. A little tricky. I want you to remind you that this one the sixth period after S block, you pull the elements to F block. 
and f log is n minus 2 and from there you go back again to the d block. Okay, either way we are going to begin with the element which we have before that and that element is over here and that is xenon. So it is xenon and now in 6 spirit these two are completely filled in. So that is 6s2. Remember what I said. We go from s2 f block and we go two levels lower. So that means 6 minus 2 which is 4 f and all of the f block must be completed from the here to here. So 4 f will be 40 and we go back from there to the d and d is only one level lower so that is going to be 5 d and if you look at mercury that is the last element in that d block that means it must be the 10th element so it is 5 d 10 so what do you think it is easier right okay this is something still easier you can find out the element by just looking at the electron configuration now there are two different methods of doing one will be when electron number is given to you you can keep on adding the numbers 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 and plus 3 whatever is given and you find the total number of electrons and find out what's the atomic number that is quite long what I would suggest to you is look at the last ending electron placement that is 3p3 it is row number 3 period 3 p block that is p block remember the right side column and it's p3 so i go one two three and that's the element which you have which is phosphorus okay how about this one this one is ending with 4d7 remember 4d we go one level lower so this is fourth period but d will be 3d so it must be in the fifth row and this must be the D block element where we have this particular element there. So 4D7 start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and there it goes. That is the seventh one. So we got that answer there. I'm sorry this is the answer for this one. Alright. Now we have 6P3 and it's after Xenon. This is the abbreviated configuration. So look where is xenon. Xenon is right over here. Okay, that's xenon. So we end up getting the configuration for 6p3. I'm sorry, this is wrong. I cannot see that. Okay, 6p3 is much easier. Let's do this one again maybe. Okay. This is the abbreviated configuration. So this is xenon and after xenon we are into 6 period. It is 6 S2 is done, 4 F14 is done, all these are taken into consideration. Then it's 5 D10 is filled up and we are into 6 P12 and this element which is bismuth. And the last one is 6D5. Remember, for D to be fifth, we need to be in sixth. And for D to be sixth one, we need to be in seventh row. So in seventh row, this is 7S. And what we get here is 6D. Unfortunately, I don't have an element here which corresponds to that. But I know what the element is. So in this is 6D. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the element which by the way is orium okay like b o h r i u m it's not boring i hope not so i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in next video